As the aftershock from Vengeance is felt, we take a look back last week at Raw in a tag team main event. It was Champions versus Shinsuke Nakamura and a fill-in replacement of a tag team partner in AJ Styles. Well, Styles found himself in the closing moments, one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, who was looking to build momentum towards Vengeance. A defeat for AJ Styles left him unsatisfied, and it all leads to tonight's main event in Fresno, California. The OC has thrown out the challenge. AJ Styles looking to stand alongside familiar partners in Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. A six-man tag team matchup is signed on, but who is going to stand alongside the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn? We find out tonight on Raw. One man we know will not be fighting alongside the Intercontinental Champion, is his best friend, the WWE Champion. Owens has got his hands full to kick things off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin. It was 48 hours ago in Bakersfield, California, where Kevin Owens found himself stuck between a rock and a hard place in a war against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Kevin Owens outlasting the wherewithal that Nakamura brought to this matchup, really pushing the pace on several of occasions, beating down Kevin Owens left and right. Owens able to survive Nakamura's best and able to retain his WWE Championship in Mechanics Bank Arena. Well, Kevin Owens earlier today called out for the Nigerian giant Omos, who came up short in his matchup against Big Bronson Reed just 48 hours ago at Vengeance. Seemingly Omos frustrated in that defeat and looking to take the next step on Monday Night Raw, going right for the head honcho. A non-title match tonight, but a victory for the big man could easily put Omos in number one contendership conversation. A conversation that is certainly a busy one here on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant Omas! And certainly the ante was up 48 hours ago at Vengeance. Kevin Owens WWE Championship celebration spoiled by the shocking return of the best in the world, CM Punk. CM Punk re-emerging for the first time since WrestleMania two months ago, and Punk seemingly drawing the line in the sand. Why else? Why then? Why now? CM Punk targeting Kevin Owens in the WWE Championship has been the question amongst the WWE Universe over the last 48 hours. But the Second City Saint declaring his return this past Saturday night. But just like the Nigerian giant Omos and just like several of other superstars on Monday Night Raw, everybody seemingly gunning for the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Well, here we go as we feel the fallout from Vengeance all throughout tonight. We are live in the Saland Arena, Fresno, California, as Kevin Owens looks to test himself against the giant Omos. Kevin Owens obviously never won to turn away the challenge, but you gotta wonder what the condition of the WWE Champion is. 48 hours after a physical fight against the master of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura threw everything he had at Kevin Owens, played the mind games for weeks here on Monday Night Raw, and played a very physical game in Bakersfield this past Saturday night. Kevin Owens with his back against the wall, able to put together the pieces and catch Nakamura with a stunner in the middle of the ring to retain his WWE Championship. A great main event it was, Kevin Owens once again proving why he is a deserving champion to be the face of Monday nights. But now right back into the fire is the prize fighter and Kevin Owens staring up at the giant Omos tonight, needs to figure out a game plan to try to keep the big man down. And Omos really building some momentum for himself for the last several weeks on Raw, a victory over main event Jey Uso and just last week, defeating the megastar LA Knight in his hometown of Los Angeles. Unfortunately for Amos, he came up short of vengeance just 48 hours ago. In his matchup against Big Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed has been on a tear since his Monday Night Raw return two months ago. The big man could easily be in conversations as well for the WWE Championship. 
for one reason or another, whether it's targeting the WWE Championship itself or just looking to blow off some steam. The Giant Omos challenging Kevin Owens to this matchup tonight. Owens finding himself in the heat of battle here in Fresno. And of course, that big six-man tag team main event on hand, the OC. Going 3v3 against the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Who will Zayn choose to fight alongside him tonight? And of course, the Judgment Day had a banner evening 48 hours ago. And a lot of that can be thanked to Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio of the Judgment Day going to be in action later tonight here in Fresno, California against Cedric Alexander. Right now, Kevin Owens looking worse for wear in the corner is Omos. A physical specimen, a scary one at that. We're going to run down Kevin Owens here tonight and possibly proclaim himself at the front of the line for the WWE title. Many of superstars on the Monday Night Raw brand want to earn that number one contendership. You look at Omos, you look at Big Brunson Reed, who's been on a tear. You look at Seth freaking Rollins, who just defeated the megastar LA Knight 48 hours ago. Of course, the returning CM Punk. What about the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura? He waited for that matchup against Kevin Owens for months here on Monday Night Raw. Came up short in a very physical main event. You got to believe Nakamura isn't going to be satisfied just yet. And no matter who is going to be the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Kevin Owens, the champion himself, is looking in a bad spot right here on Raw. And Owens, oh! To be on the receiving end of a beatdown the last few minutes, hanging up Omos in the top rope. Kevin Owens trying to go to the top itself, but Omos meeting him there. This may not have been a good idea for Kevin Owens to accept this challenge tonight from an angry Nigerian giant Omos. Nonetheless, the WWE Champion is going to do what he always does, what he did on Saturday night that helped him retain the title, and that is just keep fighting. Even through multiple King Shasas and everything, Nakamura had to throw at the champion. Kevin Owens was able to survive. Down goes Omos. We talk about it all the time. One thing to knock Omos down, a whole other thing to keep him there. Kevin Owens trying to stack the offense. Look at the champion. Needing to pull out a couple of tricks out of the hat to try to keep down the giant tonight. But Omos with this shoulder up at one. Kevin Owens going to have to dig down deep to try to find a way to keep this man down. But Omos, look at the strength. Once again with ease, taking down the WWE Champion. The Nigerian Giant laser focused on victory tonight. Double-handed choke slam, the same maneuver that defeated LA Knight seven nights ago. But Kevin Owens on top of his game right now, able to get the shoulder up. Fresno, California trying to rally behind your WWE Champion. And Kevin Owens trying to fuel that. Throwing a couple closed-handed fists. Omos, I don't care who you are, it ain't going to go well when Kevin Owens is opposing you. What a surprising show of strength off the powerbomb. But Omos not allowing Kevin Owens to reap the rewards. Man, oh man, we have got a barn burner to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. 48 hours removed from our trip to Bakersfield for vengeance. Kick it off the road to King of the Ring next month in New Orleans. Kevin Owens looking to turn away the challenge of Nigerian giant Omos. One way or another, using the momentum of the ropes once again to take him out of the ring. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Seth freaking Rollins! A distraction and an ambush! Kevin Owens focusing on Omos. There's the bell. Owens is gonna win this thing by disqualification. Seth freaking Rollins doesn't give a damn. Well, Rollins, the man who lost the WWE title all the way back at WrestleMania to Kevin Owens, has been salivating at his fingertips to try to get a one on one matchup with the prize fighter. Seth Rollins now looking to stake his claim and curb stop to the champion. Seth Rollins 
putting LA Knight behind him this past Saturday night and an incredible showing by the Defiant One at Vengeance. But now the Visionary looking to move on to greener pastures here on the Red Brand, targeting Kevin Owens once more. Seth Rollins wants back his WWE Championship. Clearing off the announce table. And this is not good. This is taking things to an unnecessary level. Kevin Owens already beaten and battered. But Seth Rollins does not give a damn. Rollins power bomb to Kevin Owens right through the announce table. If a message wasn't already clear, it certainly is now. The visionary will not rest until he gets another chance to become WWE Champion. Well, this past Saturday night in Bakersfield, we witnessed the trilogy fight for the WWE Women's Championship as Liv Morgan defended the gold that she won back at WrestleMania against the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. And Liv Morgan, credit to her, tried all she could to mix up the offense from bell to bell to try to throw Rhea Ripley off her game. Unfortunately for Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley was better than she's ever been this past Saturday night at Vengeance. In the back half of the matchup, it really became a dominating performance. And after already working on the legs numerous times throughout the contest, Rhea Ripley locking Liv Morgan in this submission hold, leaving Liv Morgan no choice but to either risk further injury or give up the WWE Women's title. The Nightmare of the Judgment Day once again sits atop the throne. Rhea Ripley, the brand new WWE Women's Champion. Certainly the landscape of the Monday Night Raw Women's Division changing before our very eyes this past Saturday night. And with Rhea Ripley once again sitting on top of the throne, you gotta wonder who's gonna be up first to challenge the Nightmare for that very goal. Rhea Ripley's been busy making a lot of enemies over the last month in the lead up to Vengeance. Remember the chaos that she has been causing here on Raw. You gotta believe there's a long list of women in that locker room waiting to get their hands on the Eradicator. And this woman certainly in that line. The EST, Bianca Belair, returned to Monday Night Raw in a successful manner after being drafted over from Friday Night SmackDown last month. Bianca Belair victorious over Zia Lee, but it was a celebration short-lived because who remembers Rhea Ripley and the chaos she was causing on that very night? This was not the first time Rhea Ripley laid her hands on another woman in the division on that night on Monday Night Raw. Bianca Belair felt the wrath in a simple fashion of the Eradicator. And I am sure Bianca Belair has not forgotten. Win, lose, or draw this past Saturday, the EST has had the nightmare on her mind. And now that Rhea Ripley holds the WWE Women's Championship, you gotta believe Bianca is thinking that, that that matchup, whatever it goes down, could be that much sweeter. Well, Bianca Belair obviously wants to get her hands on Rhea Ripley and all in the process wants to win the WWE Women's title. But if she's gonna do so, she's gotta earn it. And she's got her odds stacked against her here tonight in Fresno. One-on-one -on -one against Chelsea Green. And Chelsea, Sonya Deville, and Piper Niven really been following each other around the last few weeks. I like to call them the Mean Girls Club, even though they would definitely take a pose to that nickname. Nonetheless, Chelsea Green been back in action for a little over a month or so here on Monday Night Raw. It's returning to the WWE. Chelsea, Sonya, and Piper, almost similar to Rhea Ripley, ain't been making any friends besides each other. More enemies than anything. Bianca Belair. Certainly with the odds stacked against her, as we mentioned tonight. And look at Chelsea Green. You got to give credit where credit's due. We're going to bring the fight to Bianca Belair in the early going of this matchup tonight on Raw. Bianca Belair waiting in that long line to try to challenge Rhea Ripley, get her hands on the nightmare. You got to believe names like Cora Jade, Liv Morgan, of course, in that line as well. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville and Piper Niven, all women who could be waiting for their chance to step up here on the red brand. 
Similar to the WWE Championship situation, coming out of Vengeance, it seems like a lot of the number one contenderships here on Raw feeling wide open at the current moment. And it's really anybody's ball game to step up to the plate and make their presence felt to try to become the number one contender for their individual championships. And I'll tell you what, over the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of opportunities presenting themselves here on Monday Night Raw as we approach the King of the Ring tournament. That bracket to be revealed later tonight here on the Red Brand. Of course, we are two weeks away from Memorial Day, which is also going to be a live premiere edition of Monday Night Raw from San Antonio, Texas. All-Star Raw. Cannot wait to get to one of the biggest Raw, excuse me, of 2024. Meanwhile, Bianca Belair just trying to rally around Fresno and get back into this matchup. Chelsea Green looking up at the lights momentarily. The EST, a former champion in her own right, has been trying to get back to the promised land, whether it's been on Monday Night Raw or over on Friday Night SmackDown for quite some time. Chelsea Green sent into the corner. Bianca Belair with her eyes locked on the opposer. Bianca Belair, former champion in her own right, as we mentioned. It's been almost two years since Bianca Belair last held the WWE Women's title. And about a year since she held any sort of gold, former Women's Tag Team Champion, of course. Bianca Belair dealt with a ever-looming issue with Shotzi over on SmackDown, challenged Shayna Baszler not once but twice for the Women's World Championship in the back half of 2023 leading into the new year. Bianca Belair really was just coming up short when the opportunity was right there. That is what really plagued her over her last few months on Friday Night SmackDown before she was drafted over here to the Red Brand. So far, so good for the EST. But maybe not if Chelsea Green has got anything to say about it. Canadian Destroyer, down goes the EST. Bianca Belair, they don't call her one of the strongest for nothing, muscling up that counter that time. But Green has got Belair worse for wear. Going behind, could be looking for the I'm prettier. And that could be all she wrote. It may have been a successful return to Monday nights for Bianca a few weeks ago. Her mind may be on Rhea Ripley and Chelsea Green may have caught her. And there's a much needed kick out. Bianca Belair still in this match out. Frustration beginning of the show from Chelsea Green. Canadian Destroyer, the I'm Prettier, second the offense does green, unfortunately does not get the victory. Bianca Belair starting to show why she is one of the strongest, fastest, most agile superstars that the women's division has to offer, and absolutely one of the toughest. Bianca fighting through the pain, not looking to see her Monday Night Raw comeback be cut short in such an early going. Oh, man, pump kick that time. I'll tell you what, win, lose, or draw. Chelsea Green putting up a fight like she ever has. Bianca Belair in trouble at the current moment. Tried to rally here in Fresno, but Green just stopping her dead in her tracks. And just beating down on Bianca Belair right now. Nothing pretty, but certainly effective. This is going to be one of those fights that Bianca's feeling the next day, regardless of the result. Trying to create some distance. One last ditch effort. Into the corner goes Green. Bianca Belair starting to rally. Still with some engines behind her. Never discount the efforts of Bianca Belair. Never count her out. They don't call her one of the toughest for nothing. And now Bianca Belair looking to stretch out Chelsea Green. Get a give up. Get a tap out. Go home with the victory. But again, Green stopping that comeback. Dead in its tracks. Easier said than done is victory tonight for the EST of Monday Night Raw. I'm sore women, most importantly like Rhea Ripley, Watching along in the backstage area, looking at some of the competition. Women's division on Raw certainly been heating up over the last few months. Liv Morgan, of course, gonna want another opportunity for her title. Cora Jade's been a rising star here on the red brand. Chelsea Green looking to throw her name in the hat tonight, going for another tope suicide. Nobody home that time. 
Went to the well too many times. Bianca Belair had it scouted. Crash and burn at ringside. And Bianca sent her back between the ropes where she can get the job done. Scaling now she does. Off the top, going for the ax hammer. Nobody home that time. Chelsea Green ever to create the distance, or shall I say close the distance, in order to avoid disaster. Bianca Belair still struggling to keep the momentum here. Oh, man. Could be a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Green down and out momentarily. Trying to shake the cobwebs off at ringside. But Bianca Belair keeping her foot on the gas pedal. Showing why she is one of the strongest that WWE has to offer. Now going behind. Chelsea Green maybe going for an amusement park ride. Face first off the canvas. Victory on the horizon. Or not just yet as Chelsea Green able to get the shoulder up. Man, we've got another good one on hand here in the Saland Arena in Fresno, California tonight. Both these women looking to climb the ranks of the division. One that is certainly wide open as a brand new champion sits atop the throne. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley won the trilogy fight 48 hours ago. And now she awaits her first challenger. Could be the winner of this contest here. Oh, wait a minute. Sonya Deville starting to bark at ringside. I don't think she's trying to give Chelsea Green orders. I think she's trying to distract Bianca Belair, which is exactly what she's got going for her right now. Chelsea Green trying to take advantage. Going behind. Muscling up Bianca Belair, but you ought to think better when you're in there with one of the strongest and toughest to ever lace up a pair of boots in the women's division. Chelsea Green, a little KOD for her troubles. Bianca into the cover. And a resilient effort tonight. Bianca Belair earning victory the hard way here in Fresno, California. Credit where credit's due. The ever annoying Chelsea Green giving Bianca Belair a fight. But Bianca's showing why she has earned all those nicknames over the years. And Bianca may have just sent a message to Rhea Ripley that we've got unfinished business that needs to be settled. Here is your winner. A huge victory for a former champion. But Bianca is looking to scratch out the word former and become a champion once again here on Monday Night Raw. That unfinished business with Rhea Ripley just saw the ante up 48 hours ago. Are we looking at the first challenger for the Eradicators prestigious Women's Championship? Well, the next time we come your way for a Raw on SmackDown joint production, it is Saturday night, June 15th from Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is the 2024 King of the Ring. But who is going to be participating in the King of the Ring tournament over the next several weeks in the lead up to New Orleans? Well, let's take a look at the 16 men bracket. Right now, eight superstars from Raw and eight from SmackDown. Andrade, Gable, Cody, McDonough, Dragunov, Sheamus, McIntyre, and Ricochet representing the blue brand. Corbin, Breaker, Dijak, Knight, Dominic Mysterio, Jey Uso, and of course, CM Punk returns to action against Nakamura in the King of the Ring tournament. It all kicks off next week here on Monday Night Raw as the first round progresses as Baron Corbin goes one-on-one -on -one with the badass Braun Breaker in an opening round matchup as well. Next week on the red brand, Dijak back in action after his Raw return of several weeks ago as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the megastar LA Knight. The 2024 King of the Ring Tournament is upon us. It all kicks off live next week on Raw. The Judgment Day once again taking over this past Saturday night at Vengeance. That ominous presence that has been looming over the red brand once again walking down the aisle here tonight in Fresno. And his opponent, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. 
Dirty. Dominic Mysterio. Well, Dirty Dominic Mysterio truly living up to that nickname this past Saturday night. Certainly not afraid to get his hands dirty in the middle of a chaotic Tornado Tag Team matchup. Distracting Jey Uso in the middle of battle, allowing Damian Priest to sneak up from behind. The roll up, mounting the pressure on main event Jey, allowing Finn and Priest to walk away from Bakersfield. Three time World Tag Team Champions. A great matchup with an asterisk ending. The Usos got screwed in my account this past Saturday night at Vengeance. And I'll tell you what, the Judgment Day couldn't care less dirty dominic mysterio prove it his work finn balor and damian priest your new three-time world tag team champions and as we've been discussing throughout tonight already there you see her the nightmare rhea ripley once again holding the gold of the women's division well rhea dominic or excuse me rhea damian and finn all in action this past saturday Dominic Mysterio officially, legally, going to get in some action between bell to bell. Not like the illegal actions, at least from my accord, like we just saw in the highlights from Vengeance. Nonetheless, Rhea Ripley standing in the corner of Dirty Dominic Mysterio tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Cedric Alexander. Dominic Mysterio... The newest member of the Judgment Day over the last couple of months on Monday Night Raw, and he's really adopted a lot of the underhanded tactics that they love to implore as Cedric Alexander tries to steal a victory in the early moments of this matchup. As you saw moments ago, Dominic Mysterio is going to be competing in the King of the Ring tournament in the first round, his first round matchup against main event. Jay Uso going to be taking place in two weeks' time at All-Star Raw on Memorial Day. I am sure Jey Uso going to be excited to get his hands on Dominic. This is what we understand, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Uso coming out of the Tornado Tag Team matchup this past Saturday with a concussion. Unfortunately going to be sidelined for the time being. Jay going to be going in alone here on Monday Night Raw into the King of the Ring tournament in two weeks' time. And I am sure, as we mentioned, Jay is going to be fired up to get his hands on Dirty Dom after the events of Vengeance this past Saturday night. Dominic Mysterio with an opportunity once more to prove his worth in the ranks of the Judgment Day. Not only against Cedric Alexander tonight, but with the King of the Ring tournament approaching. As you just saw, Braun Breaker, Baron Corbin, along with Dijak and LA Knight, going to be kicking things off next week. Meanwhile, Dominic Mysterio with a 619 on Cedric Alexander. Falls it over the halo. Cedric Alexander, unfortunately, may be on the verge of a unfortunate defeat. Maybe not. Dominic Mysterio unable to put Alexander away that time. I might have just pissed off Dirty Dom. Throwing a couple of haymakers and a boot for his troubles. Cedric Alexander trying to do one good for the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room. But the Judgment Day's ominous presence and the dark cloud they have been casting just too much for anybody to handle over the last 48 hours. Here is your winner. Well, all is well and good in the judgment day. Wait a minute, come back to the ring. Main event, Jey Uso arriving on the scene. Jay fired up. After not only Jimmy comes out of vengeance with a concussion, sideline momentarily, looking to get his hands on the man who cost him the world tag team titles this past Saturday night. Dominic Mysterio, your actions are not going to have without consequences. Jay Uso, all kinds of fired up here in Fresno, unloading on Dirty Dom. Two weeks ahead of their King of the Ring, first round matchup. Well, Dominic Mysterio and the Judgment Day had to believe that this was going to be coming. Jey Uso will not rest until he gets the ultimate retribution.
But we are two weeks away from Memorial Day, which is going to be a live premiere event right here on Monday Night Raw from the Frost Bank Center in San Antonio, Texas. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, it is All-Star Raw. And as we found out, Avengers, some major returns of two Hall of Famers going to be on hand. Worldwide, they have collected 25 Tag Team Championships throughout their Hall of Fame careers. Bubba Ray, Devon, the Dudley Boys return to WWE at All-Star Raw in just two weeks. We want to take a look right now at a man who has been on a tear here on the red brand. That has been the former NXT North American Champion, Big Bronson Reed. Picking up a huge victory this past Saturday night against the Nigerian giant Omos. Reed has proven to be a force to be reckoned with in the Monday Night Raw locker room. And Bronson Reed going to have an opportunity to step up to the main event level next week here on Monday Night Raw. Bronson Reed wants his opportunity. Seth freaking Rollins drawing a line in the sand at the top of the hour. Next week, Reed Rollins for the first time ever. And the stakes could be any higher as the winner of this matchup is moving on to New Orleans, Louisiana on Saturday night, June the 15th to challenge Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship at King of the Ring. And ladies and gentlemen, we can also confirm that next week is going to be a high profile evening as the EST, Bianca Belair, will challenge the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, for the WWE Women's Championship. A title's on the line, number one contendership hangs in the balance, and the King of the Ring Tournament all going down next week here on Monday Night Raw. But it is main event time here in Fresno. And I think a man who has got his eyes on the Intercontinental Championship looking to take center stage in this six-man tag. The following is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 723 pounds, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson, the O.C. AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows drafted into Monday Night Raw last month, and unfortunately for AJ, has not had much of a successful outing opposed to how he did over on Friday Night SmackDown, holding the United States Championship for several, several months. AJ Styles stepping up last week to team up with Shinsuke Nakamura when Nakamura needed a replacement tag team partner. It ended up being an unfortunate loss for the Phenomenal One, getting his shoulders pinned to the canvas by the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. But that loss might have awoken something in AJ Styles, might have awoken a golden desire as Styles looks to put himself in Intercontinental title conversations. With his back against the wall, the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn retaining his Intercontinental Championship this past Saturday night in the Triple Threat Elimination Tables match against Karrion Cross and Baron Corbin, two looming presents that have been targeting Sami Zayn and his Intercontinental Championship for weeks. Zayn proving the doubters wrong, proving his supporters correct, and Zayn showing why he is a deserving Intercontinental Champion. But now with another ominous presence looming, the OC targeting Sami Zayn, who will stand alongside the Intercontinental Champion in battle here tonight. Oh, ho, ho, well, I think we know these two recruits very, very well. And at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, DIY, reuniting 
just a few weeks ago in an unfortunate defeat to Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. But DIY have got one goal in mind. That's to start from the bottom and work their way back to the top of the tag team division. Former World Tag Team Champions last year before they were separated in last year's draft. Now back here on Monday Night Raw together, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa looking to make waves in the Raw Tag Team division. And certainly a way to do so tonight by standing alongside the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn against the OC. We are off to the races in your six-man tag team main event. The road to King of the Ring kicking off tonight. And as we see, a high-profile evening with a lot of stakes hanging in the balance next week here on Monday Night Raw. Those two sediments can certainly be made about this six-man tag team matchup that we are witnessing right now. AJ Styles obviously with his eyes locked on Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Championship after their exchange in last week's main event. A victory for the OC tonight could certainly put AJ Styles at the front of the line to challenge for the IC title. Meanwhile, you look at DIY, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, two of the great teams in the Monday Night Raw Tag Team Division with Damian Priest and Finn Balor kicking off their three-time World Tag Team title reign this past Saturday night. And the Usos, at least as a tandem, currently out of their horizon. You gotta wonder who's gonna be next to step up to the Archer of Infamy and the Prince of the Judgment Day. Nonetheless, Carl Anderson knocking down the Intercontinental Champion momentarily. Sami Zayn obviously could not look towards his best friend, Kevin Owens, the WWE Champion, for help tonight as as we saw at the top of the hour, Owens with his own situations to handle here on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn turning to two old friends in Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. D.I.Y. Phenomenal AJ Styles getting tagged in. And Styles looking for a little payback. After Zayn dished him that loss seven nights ago. And Sami Zayn, nice counter that time. Very physical battle for the Intercontinental Champion this past Saturday night in Bakersfield. It was not an easy match to win for the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn certainly had the scratch and claw to find a way to get Baron Corbin through the table in the closing moments. Obviously was able to. You gotta believe Zayn left a pound of flesh in Bakersfield this past Saturday night and is not coming in 100% tonight. That has seemingly been the story of Sami Zayn's Intercontinental Championship reign thus far. And it's never stopped Sami Zayn from walking down the aisle and getting into a fight in the squared circle. 100%, 50%, never mattered to Sami Zayn. Always willing to fight. There's a much needed tag to Tommaso Ciampa. The big LG Luke Gallows coming in. The OC. We're going to rule over this matchup with an iron fist. Well, kicks that time by Gallows. Down goes Tommaso Ciampa. As we mentioned, DIY newly back together here on Raw. Their one and only outing so far to not go the way they would have hoped. Tearing down the house with the Judgment Day just a few weeks back. Luke Gallows, oh, wait a minute. Knocking Johnny Gargano off the apron. That's just an unnecessary shot. Tommaso Ciampa now back inside the ring. Luke Gallows closing the gap using his size and strength to his advantage. Tommaso Ciampa looking worse for wear in your trio's matchup in the main event of Raw. Challenge thrown out by AJ Styles in the OC. Sami Zayn and DIY with only so much time to put this game plan together. Will it be able to work out in their favor? AJ Styles tagged back in. Now going at Tommaso Ciampa. That's a one-on-one -on -one matchup I would love to see down the line. But right now it is about the six-man tag team contest. And really it's about Tommaso Ciampa trying to find a way back into this match for his tandem of trios. Ciampa's just getting his ass kicked. Luke Gallo's doing a number. Now AJ Styles just picking the bones. And this is what the OC wanted. And this is certainly what AJ Styles wanted. Styles wants to earn himself an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Well, this is the contest to do so. With the champion opposing him on the other side of the ring. And two credible threats standing alongside him. A chance to make some noise is what the OC have in their favor tonight. 
Johnny Gargano breaking up that pinfall. Might have caught a little of Rod Zabata at the same time. Tommaso Ciampa looking to steal a victory over Styles. He almost had him that time. Ciampa going to try to rally here in Fresno. Down goes the phenomenal one. And here comes the self-proclaimed black heart of Monday Night Raw. A man who was within inches of winning the WWE Championship in the back half of last year. A man who even stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sami Zayn just a few months ago to try to challenge for the Intercontinental title back at WrestleMania. Obviously a great respect between those two men and all three of the men that stand alongside each other tonight. Johnny Gargano win, but now he's got a deal with the size differential of Luke Gallows. At least momentarily, Carl Anderson now tagged in and shot out of the machine gun. Tommaso Ciampa tried to rally, but the OC may just have the blueprint for victory tonight. Nice sidestep by Johnny Wrestling. The whole shebang needs to pick up the pace. Down goes Anderson once more. And a tag made of the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, looking to get his feet wet once more in this match. Oh, Carl Anderson goes behind. Instead of trying to discount the momentum, trust to steal the victory, Sami Zayn up the reversal. And now Carl Anderson with his own pinfall reversal. Could have been a rope break that time. Called for the count anyway. Sami Zayn gets the shoulder up. Zayn into the ropes. A little vintage spine buster that Arn Anderson would be proud of. With the Intercontinental Champion still alive. The OC's opposers are fighting an uphill battle tonight, it seems. But Sami Zayn never going to give up. Able to absorb the punishment from that spine buster. Get the shoulder off the canvas. And if Sami Zayn and DIY are ever going to have an opportunity, now is the time. But again, Carl Anderson just not allowing a comeback here for a weakened Intercontinental Champion and his two recruits. And a tag made of the phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles looking to pick the bones of the man he would love to stand across from in a one-on-one -on -one occasion. Tag back to Johnny Gargano. Gargano throwing some shots. Sami Zayn obviously feeling the brunt of the punishment over the last 48 hours, needing to create some distance. Fast-paced six-man tag team main event here on Monday Night Raw. And again, we look towards next week where Brunson Reed takes on Seth freaking Rollins to determine the number one contender for the WWE title. AJ Styles' hopes of becoming number one contender for the Intercontinental title may have just went up in smoke. A beautifully executed super kick by the whole shebang. And now Tommaso Ciampa with his eyes locked. Could have been going for a fairy tale ending. AJ Styles with a reversal. Chippa goes down in the corner. And a shot for Johnny Gargano. And a shot for the Intercontinental Champion as well. Inside cradle by Styles. The OC looking to steal victory right out from underneath their noses, not just yet. The OC came into this matchup with an A plan, a B plan, a C plan, all the way to Z. And it includes a Styles Clash by the Phenomenal One. An unfortunate defeat for DIY. But standing alongside a weakened Intercontinental Champion in Sami Zayn against an aggressive OC was a never winning game plan. The OC picking up a huge victory and a dominating one at that in your six-man tag team main event live in Fresno. Here are your winners. Carl Anderson, Luke Ellis, and AJ Styles, the OC. Next week on Raw, Rhea Ripley defends the WWE Women's Championship against Bianca Belair. Braun Breaker takes on Baron Corbin. Dijak takes on LA Knight in two first-round matches in the King of the Ring tournament. The road to New Orleans has kicked off at the Monday Night Raw locker room. Tensions are certainly riding high in the middle of it.